to happen this year, especially because of with uh, how Corona, Corona, Corona happened, obviously. You want the noise brought on you? Because here it comes. What? The noise. I want to put this back into perspective of the division odds because what we talked about before uh, we heard about the signing on the podcast a couple of weeks ago was wherever he goes shouldn't move the needle. Wherever, you know, in terms of the championship odds, in terms of the division odds, mm-hmm. really shouldn't move the needle. Um, but we saw a little bit of movement across some books. I think the Cardinals were at plus 700 to win the division um, in a lot of spots, now down to 600. Now, this is really interesting in the West because you have the Rams with Stafford at, you know, 180. You have the 49ers, everybody's expecting a big comeback at plus 200. And you got the Seahawks who, you know, Russell Wilson is capable of beating anybody in this league at, you know, when he's playing at his best, which close to 300. So the Cardinals, even though they were one of the better teams in the division this year, they're pretty much on the outside looking in. J.J. Watt moving does not move the needle to me. From 700 to 600. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know if maybe some of these books were already at 600. 700 was old news. Maybe I'm wrong. But even at 6 to 1, I don't see any added value on the Cardinals. If you liked 6 to 1 beforehand, I don't, you know, J.J. Watt shouldn't really make you feel any different. I don't know. How do you guys feel about that? Yeah, I think that if if you weren't um, down on the Car- the Cardinals at plus, plus 700, then you shouldn't be down on them right now. Um, but I do think that plus 700 around plus 600 is good value for the Cardinals, not just because of J.J. Watt, but because I think you have another year of um, Kyler Murray plus DeAndre Hopkins, as well as the offensive line can only really get better. Um, yeah. and, and also that defense, uh, Isaiah Simmons specifically, didn't play as well as people expected to. So I think another year within that defense, maybe they, they just lost Pat Pete. Um, they, they put another premier corner in there. Maybe they get him in the draft or or something like that, and we're looking at a pretty decent uh, defense, something that could, with time, gel nicely. Now, does that uh, transfer into winning the division? I don't think so, but I think if you call it that at plus 700, um, that, that you're not looking at a, at a pretty uh, shitty situation, that they definitely can contest the teams like the 49ers right. who have injury history. I don't know what's going to happen with Russell Wilson. Um, now reports are coming out that he really does want to leave, that – He's expanded his options to teams who are honestly uh, worse than the Seahawks. And the Rams, we have yet to see them complete with Matthew Stafford. So we don't know how that's going to gel. Um, so I think if you've got the value in the Cardinals, that you're looking pretty good uh, because of this J.J. Watt signing, as well as other things. And, the, I mean, there's also the concept of um, this is the NFL. And if you have a division with four good teams, whoever's winning this division is really a, is going to win by a game or two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, there's going to be two teams, right. maybe even three, with the new uh, playoff situation uh, in the playoffs from this division. Right, and, and this could be interesting, you know, a very hedgeable bet, right? If you do yeah. have that 7-1 to one coming down to the final game, really, you know, you could find yourself way, you know, hedging this bet pretty pretty heavily mm-hmm. on, uh, you know, on just one game. So, to me, I, I still don't think that it's enough value Seven to one is not enough. I don't think this. I think this Cardinals team is actually due for regression. I think their defense overperformed a little bit. I think their uh, offensive line overperformed a little bit as well. And uh, Kyler Murray, we have seen exactly how he plays, which is a little bit erratic at times. He's not the most accurate. He a doesn't, chicken with his head off. <laughs> he doesn't have uh, the best. Uh, Accuracy, I, I, the whole season. If you listen to the podcast, I, I can you know I likened him to a shortstop playing quarterback. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really, there's a lot of slinging, a lot of you know covering range. And don't get me wrong, he's a talent to watch and and uh, one of the most difficult people in the league to stop on the run. But I, I think uh, elusiveness only gets you so far. The team around him is still not that great. It shows you you know you don't. Although you have a high powered offense, if you don't have the coaching, you're not going to have a good you're not going to have a good team. Yeah. That being said. If you look around the futures market, you can see them at fifteen to one to win the divi- uh, Sorry, to win the conference, but you can also find them at twenty to one, depending on where you shop. If you're in Jersey, you're in the you know in the nor- Northeast, FanDuel and Will Hill, twenty to one for them to win the division, uh, to win the conference. Is that enough value? Um, for me, I don't like to to really throw any futures out before I see what happens in free agency and the draft, 
And um, a lot of things are going to to happen this year, especially because of with uh, how Corona, Corona, Corona happened. Obviously, mm-hmm. um, right. it affected all the TV deals. It's gonna affect the uh, the cap situations. So you're gonna see a lot of a lot of players take like one year like proven deal so they can get more money next year. So I think I I heard a player I forgot who it was say that they're expecting like this NFL this NFL free agency period to be a uh, a period where teams are going to be creating like super teams in in a way that like because players want to take that one year deal and trying to prove themselves and whatnot. But looking at division odds, Rams plus one eighty two. I think that's that's way too high, especially for a team that just has a new quarterback. Mm, right. I, I don't think you can ever bet on a new quarterback with a new system, a new coach, or anything like that, unless, obviously, it's Tom Brady, because Tom Brady will figure things out. And Matthew Stafford, we haven't seen him play any big games. Yeah. So you don't know how that's going to work. Yeah, they have a bunch of talent on the offensive side. Yeah, they have a bunch of talent on the defensive side. But you still don't know how that's going to gel. Right? 49ers, obviously, a lot of people, like you said, Max, are expecting them to come back strong. Had a bunch of injuries. Uh, Jimmy G, while injured, while while not inj- injured and not injured, he did not look good. Right? No. He looked he looked off even when he was on the on the field. So I do expect. Uh, obviously, they had a bunch of hits on the running backs, and you have one of the best running back committees in the NFL. Mm-hmm. So I expect them. I expect them to be back. I do like their uh, like them to win the division, but I think two hundred five is still a little too high. Right? Uh, Seahawks plus two eighty five. Obviously, Russell Wilson can do anything, right? right? He can uh, he can win his division. He can win the conference. He can possibly win the Super Bowl next year. I just think uh, Pete Carroll has done way too much to to hurt their relationship. Where I don't think they're going to be on the same page this year. And I think you're going to see a lot of problems, and you can see a very slow start for them. And I think if the Rams, 49ers, or even the Cardinals have a quick start, and the Seahawks can fall behind quickly, mm-hmm. right? And obviously, speaking on the Cardinals. I do think that plus seven hundred to plus six hundred move is is a little uh, overreaction to JJ Watt news. When has a ever when has a D line player ever helped a uh, uh, led a team to a Super Bowl or anything like that? Right? Uh, mm-hmm. No one except Over for the other animal. players. That, you know. Yeah, exactly. Aside from a player like Lawrence Taylor, I don't think that can happen. I don't care if JJ Watt can can have fifteen sacks this year. I don't think it's going to mean that much. Obviously, it's going to help on the field and whatnot. And uh, I don't know if it's gonna help in the locker room because of the, the the noise and stuff like that happening in, t- in Houston. But who knows what happened there? But um, plus six hundred, I don't hate the value. But like I said, I'm still waiting to see what's gonna happen this free agency.